Hello, Taurus. My name is Missy, and I'm here to do the bullshit and the blessings. I do not remember which week, so we're not even going to bring it up. Uh, these readings are meant to be timeless and general in nature. If the details fit, they are meant for you. If they do not, please do not try to make them fit, as that will do more harm than good. I am not a doctor, lawyer, or accountant, so if you need advice in those areas, please consult a professional. Uh, it, please excuse my birdie in the bathroom. He is kind of bitchy uh, and he likes to scream at me because apparently I annoy him. Um, let's see, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So we're going to pull uh, from a couple of decks here. One is the Edgar, or the, the yeah, the Edgar Allan Poe tarot that has little quotes on the bottom that we're going to use as an oracle. Then I have the TV series to row to get the general message as well as some fortune cards to give a little bit of a extra clarification here. And then we'll pull some charms to see how the week is going to play out. All right. One more shuffle and then we'll get into it. As always, I'm listening to my earbuds. Aries didn't have any music that was really jumping out at me. And so far... For Taurus, I mean, the song that's in the background is just not really doing anything for me at, at the moment. So we'll just wait and see. All right. Interesting. I only wanted one card and we've got three that fell, but that's okay. We'll try to, we'll see if it'll work. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Cups. Um, so what I wanted to do was read the little quote on the bottom. It says, for the most wild yet most homely narrative, which I am about to pen, I neither expect nor solicit belief. The true genius shoulders at at incompleteness, imperfection, and usually prefer silence to saying, to saying the something which is not everything that should be said. Quote the Raven, nevermore. So interesting. So apparently someone is about to tell a story that is maybe difficult to tell, or maybe there's something that you need to say that's difficult to say. So I'm going to read these quotes again. It says, For the most wild yet most homely narrative which I am about to pen, I neither expect nor solicit belief. The true genius shoulders at incompleteness, imperfection, and usually prefers silence to saying the something which is not everything that should be said. Quote the raven, nevermore. It says, but uh, usually prefer silence to saying something which is not everything that should be said. So in other words, maybe there is something that you don't need to say. Um, and now we do have music in the background. Hold on. We have, I don't want to miss a thing from Aerosmith uh, playing in the background. So take that however it resonates. Um, yeah, so far there's something that, that you're getting ready to say that maybe you should keep to yourself. I do have to say one thing because we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this could be something that's definitely related to work. Uh, also, it, the numbers are 188, right? Because it was the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So um, eights have to do with like abundance and energy that is reciprocal or that continues, right? That's what the infinity is like an eight turned on its side. So in other words, there's something that's possible possibly happening at work um, that uh, maybe you just need to walk away from rather than speak up about it. Uh, it doesn't have to be. I mean, this can, you know, take it however it resonates for you. It doesn't have to be a work situation. That's just how I'm reading it because of the cards.
There we go. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups and the Emperor. Uh, interesting, because the Knight of Cups is about, you know, offering your cup to someone, offering your, your love, your emotion, and that's what the song in the background is about. Basically, it's saying, you know, um, someone doesn't want to, like, go to He doesn't want to go to sleep because he doesn't want to miss anything. All right, so maybe you, you're getting ready to declare your love and you should not. Interesting. Uh, let's get one more. Oh, look. Now we have maternal, nurturing, strength, and wisdom, and then we have love and forgiveness. Hmm. Okay, so very interesting. So this maternal nurturing strength and wisdom. Now, uh, like I said, this can be a work situation. And if, if so, it's possible that maybe this has to do with a boss or someone who's in an, a, an authority figure, could be a female authority figure um, in your life that maybe you've had a falling out with and, um, you know, maybe there is a chance for some forgiveness happening. Uh, but if this isn't, if this is not a work type situation, then this is definitely a family situation because of this maternal uh, card here. This would be uh, either mother to child or like, um, you know, grandmother to grandchild or something, some, something along those lines. Um, you know, even it could even be, you know, a father that is the nurturing uh, parent in the family. So take it however it resonates. <clears throat> Again, just to clarify, if this is a family situation and there's something that you're you're wanting to say to someone, they're saying hold off on it because, um, you know, there is love and forgiveness, you know, like maybe you don't need to say everything that's on your mind in this moment, right? It's, it's better to just kind of keep some things to yourself so that there can be forgiveness in this situation. Um, but then on the other hand, if this is a... Um, a work situation there is it's similar where it's saying um you know just kind of walk away and let things go because that's the energy of the eight of cups is that you're walking away to find what it is that's missing right so you have to decide uh, especially whether or not it comes to this forgiveness, like you know your situation. If this is a family situation, is this, or do you want to forgive? Do you want to build on this? Do you want to make this a better, healthy situation? Or if it's a work situation, do you want to build on this? Do you want to continue in this situation with this person? All right, so let's go ahead and get some charms to see what's happening you know, for the week, for each day. We have one that came way off. Oh, the palm fronds. So every time I see the palm fronds, I always have the same interpretation, which is that there is, you know, someone needs to reach out to someone else that did fall way off of the board. So, you know, within several months to a year, or like maybe that's something that isn't even on the table at this point in your mind, like you're not even willing to be the person to reach out. I don't know. We'll find out. We do have a couple of letters here. So we have the letter K, we have the letter O, and we have the letter R. Um, so obviously with the letter R landing over here during the Friday, Saturday period, uh, you know, take that however it resonates. You could be dealing with someone with the letter R or the letter R could be somehow important. Um, and then, oh, interesting. Okay, so uh, it's starting on Sunday. <clears throat> I call this my scepter quartz, even though it's definitely not a scepter quartz. It's just the way that it feels to me every time I, I look at it, every time I hold it. So there's, you know, taking charge is sort of the energy of this, right? Taking charge, um, uh, power is also the energy that comes from this because a quartz crystal is, it amplifies, you know, the energy of everything around it. 
Um, and so it's a very powerful crystal, even though it's also, uh, you know, very, very abundant crystal as well. It's, it's very powerful. And so um, on Sunday, I feel like what it's saying is that you have control of a certain situation or maybe you have power in a situation in a situation to, you know, either amplify things and make them bigger or, you know, calm them and make them smaller. It's really up to you. So again, the letter K is going to be important somehow on uh, Sunday and Monday. Uh, we do have the $10 bill as well as the $5 bill. Um, so on Monday, there will be some losses. I think the losses will be bigger than the gain. Uh, simply because the $10 bill was in the reverse. You will need to be graceful regardless of what happens. You'll need to be graceful. Um, the letter O is going to be important here or uh, KO. Uh, take that how it resonates. It could be a knockout. It could be that things are going to be okay. Um, I would take that to mean that things are going to be okay, but you know, take it however it resonates for you. On Tuesday, you do have the dolphin which is a symbol of joy and playfulness. We do. We also have the mice or the mouse, which can represent some small problems, right? Um, and then we do have the um, the rune of uh, breath or God. It's like the answer rune. It's like receiving messages from God. From God, but basically. Um, it's like either no message or no news or there's no good news or something like um, maybe maybe there are some small problems or something where the news is not as joyful as you would like it to be. Um, although I do have to say the dolphin does sof soften some of this energy, but I do, I, I kind of feel like maybe it's not going to be like these, these few days here are... Um, like the losses will probably feel bigger than the gain. Um, yeah, we don't have anything for Wednesday or Thursday, and we already spoke about Friday and Saturday. The letter R may be important for you. Um, take that however it resonates. So I thank you for watching. I hope it does, does resonate. If it does not, please stick around. There may be another reading for you here on the channel that does. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever you can to help me get my channel out there as I'm new here. And I thank you for watching.